Just try to follow me right now. We are going to do 10 repetitions non-stop. This will bring very good back muscle and shoulder muscle and core muscle strength. Okay. Get into plank. Start. Upward dog. Downward dog. Plank. Exhale Chaturanga. Upward dog. Inhale. Exhale downward dog. Inhale plank. Exhale Chaturanga. Inhale upward dog. Exhale downward dog. Remember when you are getting into Chaturanga, your shoulder should be depressed. Inhale plank. Exhale Chaturanga. Exhale, inhale upward down. Inhale downward down. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward. Downward. Plank. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha Shonasana. Adho Mukha Shonasana. Plank. Chaturanga Dandasan Urdhva Mukha Shonasan Adho Mukha Shonasan Last three Plank Chaturanga Dandasan Urdhva Mukha Shonasan Adho Mukha Shonasan Plank Chaturanga Urdhva Mukha Shonasan Adho Mukha Shonasan Plank Last one let us do it very slow. Chaturanga Urdhva Mukha Adho Mukha Plank Settle down. Get into child's pose. Curl your, curl your feet. Touch your head. Relax your arms. Take five minutes. So yeah, Chaturanga Dandasan will give a very good back, shoulder, I should say full body because you get into Urdhva, you get into Adho which actually stretches the hamstrings and calves. It's an excellent full body exercise. You should attempt to, to get to at least 25-30 in a row. Uh, that I, I should say can just take care of a day maybe. Okay, so now let's start opening our shoulders. We'll do the puppy pose first. Spread your hips, spread your knees, sorry not hips, spread your knees, just outside the line of your hips, okay, so your knees should be outside the line of your hips, and you have to arch your back, arch your back, and start going forward, or maybe the ways, arch your back and slowly start going forward. Start where you can or where you want to. Externally rotate your arms and go down. Don't touch your chin. Either touch your forehead or don't touch anything. Just be in the air. But the point is you have to try and attempt to. So let me show it from this side. You have to try and attempt to touch your chest on the floor it's a very very deep back bending stretch those who can touch can deepen the stretch by cupping the fingers and going further down Fold your arms and 
you have to try to take your hips back so engage from your glutes take your hips back in such a manner that you want your armpits to touch the floor so you will get a very deep stretch in your shoulder let's do this one two three Very good. Now sleep on your stomach. Let us repeat this. Fold your hands. Fold your elbows. Keep your hands on your shoulders. Those who cannot keep, just keep them hanging. And you have to again try to touch your armpits to the floor by activating your back. Inhale one. Imagine and feel the stretch. Two. Three. Keep on putting pressure. Four. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Don't be light on yourself. Challenge your limits. Five. Hand straight. Now keep the left hand beside you, your legs. Right hand in 45 degrees. Not more than, not like, not like perpendicular. It has to be exactly in between. Press in, your, press into your palm, and slowly just twist your, just twist your left body in such a manner that you should feel extreme stretch in your biceps and in your shoulder. So keep your back straight and arched and keep coming up in such a manner that your bicep and shoulder is open. One, two, three, keep your palm um, active four five down left hand right hand on the floor and slowly start getting up back should be arched palm should be active both palms should be active and give a good deep stretch to your bicep and shoulder one Two, three, four, five. I hope you enjoyed this. Let's repeat. And if you have not felt any stretch, then try to articulate, try to think you should get a good stretch in this whole area bicep, shoulder and the joint ok so just feel for it and let's do it one more time twist from the back if you just twist like this nothing is going to happen be very careful of your twisting one two Three, palm active, right palm, four, five, left side, one, two, three, four, Good job. Now we will start activating our upper back. So we will be getting into cobra pose. So keep your hands. Uh, so if you come up, 
keep your hand just just elbows just in forward of the line of your shoulders so not back not in the line of the shoulders just ahead of your line of your shoulders just ahead feel that your legs straight toes active your thighs active knees locked and arch your back a lengthen and lengthen your back shoulders roll back arch your back and stay here for 10 minutes one don't look up unnecessarily your head and your back should be in the same line two three lengthen your spine four Eight shoulders rounded back. Nine. Ten. Relax. Go down slowly. You have to get out of the asana very slow. This is Bhujanga asana, Cobra pose. We will do this again for ten breaths. Your back should be burning when you are doing this. If your back is not burning then you are not giving enough stretch to your back, you are not rounding your shoulders back enough, you are not lengthening your spine enough because this has to, this has to give a burning sensation and extreme stretch in your back. Just some, the, the, my upper back is my weakest part of the anatomy, I just don't, I am not able to you know stretch my upper back as I can stretch my legs or I can use my core or my strength so all of us are learning together okay up shoulders back back this back has to be important but when you are doing the shoulders back lengthen your spine by activating your leg the more activate uh, your legs are the more your back will have the strength to come up one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. slowly one disc at a time now keep your keep your hand straight and keeping your head relaxed forehead relaxed on the ground keeping your hands active just bring your hands up as much as you can legs active one back arch two three four five hands down we'll do this one more time when you're doing this key ensure that your elbows are not bent hands are straight active you're taking the load on your shoulders and trying to open up your shoulders once more, up, one, two, three, four, five, hands down, now keep your hands beside your legs. And keep your 
left leg and left foot active and just raise the right leg one don't lean on one side just be don't change the body alignment two three activate your glute muscles four leg straight toes pointed out five left leg one don't change the body alignment two three four five right leg one two three four five left leg one two three four five again take your hand straight and now we will do, try to do all three together so both hands both legs and back all three up together ensure your hands are active legs are active back is active core is active you're looking straight trying to get up as much as you can okay so let's do this shalabhas okay one two three up one two three check your body four five down take two three long breaths I hope when you are doing this you are watching your back lower back upper back once more ready one two up one two three four five down slowly good good job now maybe last code i'm looking at the watch but i know we have almost reached our time but you will miss one excellent core exercise so i am not getting tempted to stop the class here so get into a downward dog and now what we are going to do is it's not a downward dog you can keep your back rounded what we are going to do is we are going to touch our knee to the elbow okay so get on plank arms perpendicular and when we are bringing knees to the elbow your back has to be fully rounded then only you will feel a good core exercise okay so start to touch one up two back arch three back round arch four arch five five more times arch six arch seven arch eight arch nine arch ten plank left leg one arch two arch three arch four arch five arch six arch come for more seven arch don't get down eight arch nine touch your elbow arch ten down good job get into shavasan i know all of you might be feeling relieved 
Again into Shavasana. Close your eyes. 